Okay. Hello. Um, so, what I wanted to discuss uh, now, let's talk about, uh, so when you were studying uh, back in India, you were studying at the university. Yeah, I was studying there in the university. Bachelor. Yeah, I did my bachelor's in bioinformatics. That was also an interesting Oh, one. bioinformatics, I love yes. it. Biotechnology is yummy. And um, so you decided when you were on bachelor, you decided to come here. So how it came? Well, oh. honest, honestly, I didn't decide much, but uh, in in the third year, like it's a four year course, in the third year, there is a chance that you have to go out for an internship. So I was applying and I was just checking online and I thought, why not to apply outside India? Let's say it was just giving it a try. I didn't know what will happen. And I applied to a position in VUB and I got selected here for summer internship. So it was a great chance. I came here for just two months. I did some work with the people and I really liked the atmosphere of university and that convinced me that after I will complete my studies, I will apply for a master's degree here. And fortunately, I got the position. So I was here and it has been a great experience till now. So uh, do you mean that uh, once you came here, you were constantly studying and working to support yourself? Ah, no, no, no. no. Uh, when I came here, initially I came here for an internship for just two months. Then I had to go back to complete my studies in India. And then I came back here for a master's. So it was like the first time I came here in 2015 for two months. Then I went back and then I started this course from 2016. And you were uh, kind of, so your family helped you with the money because you uh, know, yeah, study yeah. cost much less than actually living and... Actually, yeah. Actually, the, the tuition price is like I was comparing the universities in the United States and this Europe. And I figured out that the universities in Europe are a bit more affordable, let's say, as compared to the United States because well, they're expensive. It's 100,000. No, it's <laughs> like, no, I will die, I will die. I don't want to sell myself and still I will not have that money. Do you know them? Uh, I actually have a friend who came here because she married a Belgian guy. Oh, wow, that's she's good. she's still paying the credit for her medicine education. Oh, because my once God. Because you, you can imagine, yeah, yearly you're paying like from 40,000, mm -hmm. for example, and if you have a bachelor, so you're paying four years for the bachelor and two years for master's. And it can oh, be even more expensive. Belgium is love yeah, yeah. Uh, the cheapest the, ever yes the cheapest I mean, ever. we cannot say the cheapest but when we compare it with other countries like united states of course the education is cheap but living is a bit expensive yeah i mean because my parents were funding me so of course it was very difficult for them to give the money because when you see the conversion rates from the indian currency to euros it's a bit high and how much is that it's like um one rupee i mean sorry 80 rupees is equal to one euro so it's by it's one almost the same in russia i think it's now i don't know it was at least uh 78 rubles for one euro oh so it's so like it's, it's 76, a bit same 70, yeah. yeah but it always can jump yeah yeah it's, it's <laughs> always like that when i came here it was 70 and now it is 80. yeah so it's it's it actually jumped up yeah yeah exactly but, it's a bit difficult but then you here you have an option to do some student jobs or sometimes yep. support i mean it's actually all... my friends from russia they do a mm -hmm. student job yeah. and uh some girl from where is she from colombia maybe huh? so there are lots of students who are doing the job at our cafe you know uh and i have like russian friend who is doing phd here mm -hmm. uh in um tell me in journalism oh, and she's working in, in uh in the cafeteria too that's good so i think it it's helps good. It, it helps. helps and you know you just get some time to get out of your study schedule to just freshen up your mind i think it has and been get great. money oh ah, yeah i mean in At my least. country it's not that easy or there are no student jobs i don't know why but here we have that and everybody respects you it's good it's a, uh, it's a bit hard because then you have to compile your studies as well yeah. as work together because it's not easy because studies are not so easy here no they are difficult. And it's interesting because they have actually not usual amount of subjects because like I remember I used to work as a faculty uh, coordinator in Dubai University, wow. University in uh, MBA, you know, Management wow. Business Administration. Yeah. And there you allow to take four subjects only if you are super great at nah. everything, but usually it's two, three subjects, not more. But here, in half a year, you're supposed to follow like five subjects. Yeah, I remember I had six subjects. I was crazy that semester. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. If you have paper or master thesis, that's. Uh, that's pain like, that, that's in one, like in one place. That's like the condition of me now. I feel like a bit crying, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You can do it. And okay, and then you came here, mm -hmm. and uh, so you had some expectations about maybe you were planning your future, like. 
maybe to come here, maybe to get the job, maybe even if you're coming back to India, you still have European education. So you were thinking that it's both win-win situation. Yeah. And uh, did you um, did your plans changed? Your plans changed with the time. I would not? I would say I didn't plan much because uh, I could understand by doing the research on the internet that it will be really hard to get a job here. It's not easy as a non-European there. It's like really difficult. But at that moment, of course, because, you know, I had to do something to start my livelihood. So I started applying here for the jobs. Meanwhile, I was thinking that I, I will not get a job here. Then I have to start applying in India back. But fortunately, I got a job. It was very difficult, but uh, all my classmates got the job and that was a good thing. So now I feel that, okay, I will start the job here, maybe have some experience here and then see where the opportunity is good. But trust me, if uh, people come here thinking that for sure we will get a job in Europe, I don't think that it's that easy. So you have to make some backup plans. Don't come here just thinking that you will fire, you will for sure get a job because you know Belgium is a beautiful country but also a bit complicated because they have these go to three Dubai. languages. I love Dubai, go to <laughs> Dubai. Yeah, maybe. I've never <laughs> been to Dubai actually. Oh, I love this place. Uh, and, you know, tax is lower, uh, life style lower. I, I mean, okay. lifestyle is higher yeah. but life price is lower, uh, cars lower because tax is lower. And everybody speaks English there. Yeah. Uh, Heard they and speak very English, polite, but uh, very polite. It's politest ever, and uh, there are lots of Indians and Pakistani people. And I can yeah. tell you through the mentality, these people just amazing. You know, Pakistani people have lots of in common with your mentality. Ah, it's, you it's, have, all, it's almost the same country food, which we divided, but common, it's almost the same. Clothes, Everything you know? is same. And the so. most important part I loved in Pakistani and Indian people, they never stressed. Russians, they can like, oh my god, it's horrible. And Pakistani person usually like, oh, I'm so stressed. So stressed. <laughs> it's just amazing. So when you come into Dubai, it's just like everybody's smiling everywhere, even if they're stressed. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just out, but you're still smiling. It's like you cannot do anything even when you're stressed. So you try to, you know, just calm yourself. It comes yourself. from the yeah. religion, I think. It comes from the religion way of thinking. No? No idea. I get too much stressed here. <laughs> yeah. And so this is what I was actually... Uh, thinking about so when I came to Belgium, mm -hmm. firstly I didn't know anything about this country. You know, I came because my husband is here, okay. but yeah. he's from Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And um, so when I came to Belgium, I had in my uh, way of thinking, I was thinking that oh my God, Europe is so amazingly like everywhere is the law. No yeah. discrimination, everything yeah. is so good. And after, you know, four years living in Belgium, mm -hmm. I cannot say I would stay here. Ah, really? Yeah. I don't know. With me, fortunately, till now, it's it. not. No, I, I'm okay. I, I mean, everybody has communicated nicely to me. I haven't touched wood. I have not seen racism till now. But I think computer it's a personal experience. Computer science is much more amazing, I can tell you. No, I it's not love, about computer I science. Love, Come no, on. I really, seriously. Really? I just love your professors. Like, I had the signal beat. Amazing guy, Man, you know? He, he's my promoter and he's really amazing. I love him because he's yeah. just, you know, firstly, like, okay, he, he's fond of photography, but it's not the case. He was actually studying with the guy who invented the uh, normalization. Yeah. For yeah. Processes. Because he's from ETH, yeah, I, I know. I mean, he's amazing. Like the way he explains the chapter, he explains the concept, you feel oh. like, oh my god. He loves his subject. Man. I can see the same for Kim Williams, for example. It's, oh, you I don't know. You know her. her. No, you don't know her, but she's in marketing, very professional girl. And Rosanna Van P, oh, I love her. But she's from Cow 11. <laughs> oh, so we have nice professors. Yeah, That's and good. web information system too, you know? He is, was, but he's, uh, he's more was, into scientific. He's more in mm. kind of his way of thinking. Don't you think so? I think so. But, but still, I like him. I he's see, like a hero to me. He's like, oh my God, professor exactly. is coming. He is like, you know, his PDF. I think his PDF is the best. I mean, PowerPoint, this lecture. You can always use it again. You know, it's all structured yeah. and you don't have some kind of water. Sometimes in management, you have just water, which you think, oh, come on, mm, 100 yeah. slides and just. And here he uses this this amazing tool which he developed like he brings that board and he touches it and it appears on the screen it's amazing <laughs> yeah i was too i was sitting like oh my god magic magic yeah man, man <laughs> they are fancy lectures man. yeah yeah and very they're very simple they're not kind of like like this you know they're not never arrogant or something they really yeah. love to do their job okay thank you very much thanks to you to give me an opportunity thank you